closet. Happens to be a closet in the home I'm staying in this week. So, briefly tonight, I wanted to talk about uh, a prayer closet. What a prayer closet is and why you need one. So, the reference that Jesus makes to a prayer closet comes from Matthew chapter 6. Um, in the uh, in the old King James Version, talks about a prayer closet. I'm going to read a little from Matthew chapter 6. Um, it's verse 6, but I'm going to start back with verse 1. Um, <clears throat> in a newer translation, I believe this is NLT I'm reading from, and then we'll talk about it for just a minute. Jesus is talking about giving to the needy, and um, apparently there were people who, in his day, if and when they gave, it was all about show. And everything they did religiously, none of it was really for the Lord or for their own um, spiritual growth. It was all about showing off. So um, Jesus says, watch out. Don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose a reward from your Father in heaven. When you give to someone in need, don't do as the hypocrites do blowing a trumpet in the synagogues and streets to call attention to their acts of charity. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward, all the reward they'll ever get. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private, and your Father who sees, in, sees everything will reward you. When you pray... Don't be like the hypocrites who love to pray publicly on street corners and in the synagogues where everyone can see them. I tell you the truth, that is all the reward they will ever get. But when you pray, go away by yourself, shut yourself in, shut the door behind you, and then pray to your Father in private. Then your Father who sees everything will reward you. And he goes on to talk some more about prayer. Now, like I said, in, uh, in the old King James, uh, it talks about prayer closet. Modern translations talk about uh, in your room or in an inner room or in a private room. Um, so however you want to uh, uh, translate that. But the idea is you're getting away um, to an innermost place. You're getting away to a place where you will not be um, seen. Now, Jesus, um, his goal with this command, at least his, his primary in this passage, he's talking about doing things simply uh, so that we may do them for the Lord and not for the eyes of man, okay? Uh, we don't give so that people say, oh, you're such a great person because you gave so much. We don't pray so others can say, oh, what wonderful prayers you have. We pray so that we can connect uh, with our Father God. And so um, Jesus is you know, saying, go into your private room because your prayer is not about showing off. It is about connecting. But going into your prayer closet, so to speak, or your private prayer place, um, besides just helping protect you uh, against being a hypocrite who's doing things for show. Also, it really helps you um, to get rid of distractions. And boy, don't we have so many of those today. Um, we are so distracted by so many things coming our way constantly. And getting away from distractions is really, really important. Because when we get away from distractions, we can really connect with the Lord. You know, even Jesus did that. You know, the Gospels often record him um, going away to a quiet place or a lonely place. But so if Jesus worked to have his quiet time, then if he did, certainly we should work um, to get away when we need to and to have our quiet time with the Lord. Now, something about this closet um, that I wanted to show to you, I mean, it's just a closet, there's not much in it, um, but um, I, I wanna show you something interesting that I noticed when I got here. 
you know, when you first get <laughs> to a house, you look around, you find think where things are. If you're uh, renting a house, and and look, one of the things we wanted to find is where is the Wi-Fi. All right, so everybody could power up their their phones, and and here it is, the uh, the modem and the router, they're right there uh, in the closet. And I got to thinking about that, and so what I realized is. Hey, guess what? The very best connection uh, in this whole place is right here in this closet. And, and I told uh, my daughter that when we were, she had to sign on for some housing um, for college. And I said, hey, if you want to make sure you don't get dropped, you want to get the best connection, go in the closet. And so I thought, you know, hey, maybe that can help us when we think about if we want the best connection with the Lord if we want to get away from all the distractions uh, from all the what what we may think about someone else watching us pray or or what they may think about us or anything we need to take time to get away and to get into our quiet place and get into a place where it's just us and the lord so that's our thought for today and i hope that's a blessing to you